Did you know that the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time? These are the effects of time dilation, a rather strange physics concept. But how exactly does it work? Is it possible to travel back in time using this method? Join us to find out. Time dilation is a fascinating concept within physics that has been extensively studied and tested over the years. In a nutshell, it refers to the phenomenon in which time slows down or speeds up depending on the relative speed between two observers or the presence of strong gravitational fields. Although it may seem strange and even contradictory, time dilation is a direct consequence of the theory of relativity. You need to know some fundamental concepts to understand how time dilation works. First, it is essential to understand that time is not an independent entity, but is intrinsically linked to space. Together they form what is known as space-time, a flexible and dynamic structure in which all events occur. Another thing we need to understand is the notion of inertial reference frames. An inertial reference frame is a coordinate system in which a particle at rest or in uniform rectilinear motion is considered in equilibrium. If two observers are in different inertial reference frames and are moving at relative speeds, they will experience time dilation. According to the theory of relativity, the speed of light in a vacuum is a universal and immutable constant. This means that light always travels at the same speed, regardless of the speed of the observer who perceives it. You can imagine it as if you are in a race and someone throws a ball at you. No matter how much you move or run, you always receive the ball at the same speed. The same goes for light. It doesn't matter if you're moving fast in a car or standing still. Light will always hit you at the same speed. This was something that scientists discovered through experiments. They made precise measurements and found that the speed of light in a vacuum is always constant. It's like there's a maximum speed limit for light and nothing can beat it. This idea challenged what was previously believed but has been proven time and time again. However, this statement has a surprising consequence. If the speed of light does not change when we move, then what does change is time. Let's imagine a scenario in which we have two observers, one at rest and the other at a speed close to the speed of light. Suppose that both observers have highly accurate clocks. According to the theory of relativity, the moving observer will perceive that his clock is ticking at an average speed, just like the observer at rest. However, each of them will perceive the other's clock ticking at a different rate than their own. The observer at rest observes that the clock in motion is running very slowly. In contrast, the observer in motion perceives that his clock is running normally, but that of his partner at rest is running very fast. This is because moving very fast in space causes time to dilate, and consequently, for the person in motion, time contracts while time expands for the person at rest. That is, the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time. And the slower you move in space, the faster you move in time. The so-called twin paradox is one of the most notable consequences of time dilation. In this thought experiment, a twin stays on Earth while its twin makes a round trip to a distant star at speeds close to the speed of light. When they meet again, the traveling twin, thanks to time dilation of the particular relativistic type, has aged much less than the one who stayed home. This is because when traveling at speeds close to the speed of light, only a few hours pass for the traveling twin. While for the twin who stayed on Earth, time passes as usual. Another example can be found in the movie Interstellar, directed by Christopher Nolan. In the plot, a team of astronauts travels through a wormhole, searching for a new habitable planet. They face enormous gravity near a black hole during their journey, resulting in significant time dilation. Upon their return, they discover that while only a few years have passed, decades have passed on Earth. This occurs because a supermassive black hole distorts the space-time around it for several million kilometers, including the time of the planets. And speaking of time, don't waste time and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our following videos. Time dilation has tangible and measurable effects on spacecraft and satellites, especially when moving at relatively high speeds or subjected to strong gravitational fields. When a spacecraft moves at speeds close to the speed of light, it experiences time dilation. 
This means that time aboard the spacecraft will pass more slowly compared to an observer at rest on Earth. Although the difference may be slight at typical space speeds, it becomes more significant as the speed approaches the speed of light. Time dilation has practical implications for space navigation. For example, if a spacecraft travels at extremely high speeds during interstellar travel, the astronauts on board would experience a slowdown relative to people on Earth. This means that, from their perspective, time on Earth would move faster than theirs. As a result, they could experience shorter space trips compared to observers on Earth. In the case of satellites, your perception of time is also affected due to time dilation. Global navigation satellites, such as those used for the GPS, must have highly accurate clocks to calculate and transmit signals. However, because the signals are in motion and at different altitudes relative to Earth, they experience time dilation relative to clocks on the Earth's surface. To ensure the accuracy of the GPS, time dilation must be considered, and adjustments must be made to satellite clocks constantly. Otherwise, errors in timing could accumulate and affect the accuracy of the location measurements. Time dilation has been confirmed experimentally on numerous occasions. For example, experiments with subatomic particles accelerated to speeds close to the speed of light have shown that their internal time slows down compared to particles at rest. Additionally, satellites in Earth's orbit experience time dilation relative to observers on the Earth's surface. Importantly, a time dilation only becomes apparent at speeds close to the speed of light or in strong gravitational fields. In everyday life, when relative speeds are much lower, the effects of time dilation are practically invisible. Time dilation is a crucial concept in modern physics and has profound implications for our understandings of the universe. This idea challenges our classical intuition about time as a universal and immutable magnitude. Instead, the theory of relativity teaches us that time is relative and depends on the frame of reference in which we find ourselves and the relative speed between observers. This has important implications for space navigation, particle physics, and cosmology. Time dilation affects not only our perception of time, but also space. This can be seen in the concept of length contraction, another consequence of the theory of relativity. While time dilation refers to the variation in the perception of time, length contraction implies that moving objects are shortened in the direction of motion. These phenomena are closely linked and together form what is known as the space-time warp. Let's imagine that you have a rigid rod and move it at a speed close to the speed of light. From your perspective, the bar will appear shorter in the direction of its movement due to length contradiction. At the same time, any process occurring in the bar, like a ticking clock, will appear to slow down relative to a stationary observer due to time dilation. This means that time and space are affected, depending on your perspective. Time slows down and moving objects appear to shorten in the direction of their movement. These phenomena are direct consequences of the constant speed of light and how time and space are intricately intertwined in the theory of relativity. But don't worry, don't forget that these effects are very subtle at everyday speeds and only become significant when objects move at speeds close to the speed of light. In everyday life, time dilation and length contraction are imperceptible and only become apparent in extreme situations, such as particle physics experiments or space travel at relatively high speeds. The dilation of time and the contraction of length immerse us in a universe full of wonders and mysteries. They teach us that time is not absolute, but a mutable companion that dances with speed and gravity. On that journey of discovery, we find a new understanding of reality and a wonder that connects us with the vast cosmos surrounding us.